Today we're going to talk about area rugs. I think the biggest mistake everybody makes is they get them too small. And nothing is worse than me walking in and I see an area rug just under the coffee table. It's not under even the front feet of the couch or any of the chairs and I'm like, no, that's the wrong size. So there's a lot of things you can even Google about the, what the correct size area rug is. But most important is that your furniture, at least the front feet are on it. But I actually like more than that because I think it just, it, it kind of pulls it all together and pulls your furniture together. When you don't have both feet on it, your chair slides back or the couch slides back. So bigger is better when it comes to an area rug. Uh, people ask me, well, this is in our, my living room, it's in a fireplace. There is a natural piece of wood around your fireplace that's one piece of wood that kind of outlines your heart. Well, you want to come out at least that one piece of wood. I don't want to take the rug and shove it right up against the hearth. You, you, you want to show the beautiful wood floors, but you still want something that's going to place your furniture and be that focal point for the furniture. So that's the first thing to think about is size and bigger is always better for that. And I think when it comes to color, they, when you're really talking about interior decorating, you start with your flooring, you start with your rug. And especially if you're spending a lot of money on them and you might get something that's Oriental or Persian and you might spend a lot of money because that's going to then take your color and bring it from there. But not everybody has that ability. And I, I actually sometimes be like, oh, let's change out the rug and we'll find something a little more neutral or something fun. And you can find great ones at Home Goods now, um, even online at Wayfair. You can find some great carpets and they're not that expensive. If you're someone that says, yeah, maybe I want to change it out. Or you have kids and pets and you're like, I'm not going to spend a fortune on a rug that's going to get spilled on and, you know, beaten up and then the cat might pee on it. So then I say, hey, let's find something a little less expensive, but we can still find it that fits and that goes with your color scheme. I think when you're talking about fabrics and rugs, so there's wool, there's cotton, there's polyester, there's jutes um, and sisals, which are the ones that are kind of rough and uncomfortable on your feet. They have fake ones now though, that are really comfortable and easy to clean. You need to consider where you're putting it. I'm sitting in my living room, doesn't get a lot of traffic in here, so I have a wool rug. Um, maybe if it was going to be in the family room and I had a lot of kids and pets, I would think of something more on the polypropylene or something that be cleaned very easily with any spills. Um, in the dining room, I would also, if it's a frequently used dining room, I would consider something that you can clean easily because the last thing you want to do is spill spaghetti sauce on it and have it completely ruined. So think about what the, 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 what the rug is made of and how easy to clean before you make your decision. Rug pads, really, really important that you have a really good rug pad underneath. Don't use those ones that have the, the it's like the mesh that goes down. They actually ruin your hardwood floor because they disintegrate. You want to use a really good dual surface rug pad that goes down. It actually extends the life of your rug. It makes it more comfortable underfoot and it holds it in place. Because on a hardwood floor, if I didn't have a rug pad that was going to hold this to this floor, floor, it would shift whenever I might move a chair. So things to consider when you're looking at area rugs, especially getting a really good rug pad.